many soldiers returning home from deployment bear the scars of mental illness. However, innovative techniques to treat their symptoms are still in their infancy. At the annual meeting of the American Psychiatric Association, researchers discussed new treatments being tested for post-traumatic stress disorder. Dr. Loretta Ziasco and her team of researchers are testing out a computer program designed to retrain patients' attention pattern. Dr. Ziasco said that anxious patients intuitively seek out anxiety-promoting stimuli, and their program is designed to change that. Um, anxious individuals tend to preferentially um, look for threatening uh, stimuli in their environments. Um, and that tendency uh, maintains their anxiety, it maintains their avoidance of threat. Um, and the idea of retraining them um, is that if we can get them to look for more neutral things in their environment, then we could help calm their anxiety. Um, and that's, that's what the attention retraining computer program is all about. Uh, the individual would see uh, a computer screen that would have either two images or two words on it. Um, and one of the images, um, or one of the words would be a neutral word, something like cake or someone may a neutral face just like yeah. that. So, um, and then the other uh, image would be a threatening image, so maybe something like an angry face or um, a, a threatening word like explosion um, or uh, improvised explosive device or death, something like that. Um, and so what happens is after they see that image or those words um, for about 500 milliseconds, after that then they see um, a letter and the letter is called uh, the probe. And the letter in our case would either be an E or an F, and um, either the two images would be um, one on top of the other, or the two words would be one on top of the other, and then the probe um, would be in the same position as one of the images or one of the words. So if the probe, the E or the F, is in the same position as the threatening image or the threatening word, people with anxiety will respond faster to that. And basically the reason is because they were already looking at the threatening image or the threatening word. That's what they were focused on. Um, and so then when they see the E or the F, um, they identify it very quickly. Whereas if the E or the F um, is in the same position as the neutral stimulus or the neutral word, um, they will respond more slowly. They are able to retrain anxious individuals to preferentially focus on the non-threatening stimulus, so either the non-threatening image or the non-threatening word, and the individuals actually who um, had the fastest response to the threatening stimuli after training actually get the most benefit from the training when they're able to uh, then have a much slower response. Dr. Ziasco said this type of treatment appeals to soldiers who are wary about taking medications. If it had to do with a medication that was you know, FDA approved, something that a doctor, a doctor would recommend, or even something like Tylenol or aspirin, in those cases, the patients tended really not to want to take those things um, because they were very afraid of what the effect would be on their bodies. They didn't want to get used to taking something and then not having it available to them, for example, after they left the military. Um, so it's, typically it's a young population, so people in their late teens or early 20s who are generally healthy before they go to war, and so they are not used to taking medications except for the supplements that they might take. With Clinical Psychiatry News, this is Francis Correa.